that what he was after love for my life. He stabbed my heart like this because he didn't appreciate nothing, nothing that I did for him. That I both cheated. Kendra yeah. said she's gonna try to reach out to him and let him know that she connected with us. I wonder what he's gonna do. He doesn't care, Randy. Don't you get it? He doesn't give up nothing about you guys, nothing. Settled in, we are loving the house. The kids love the pool. The weather is amazing, and we're gonna take advantage of everything this house has to offer. Randy? Yeah. I'll tell you something. Sam just called the lender. Mm -hmm. I have bad news. I'm gonna lie, it's pretty bad news. So I thought we were having a good day, and we were having a good day, but then I got an unfortunate phone call with some bad news from the lender. Yeah, my house. What? So, I can explain to you, but I think it's better if I call him because basically, I don't know, you just call him. Just call him back. Like, we can't get the house back news, or? Nah, but he's trying to, like, persuade us not to get that. Shh, call him. He's trying to persuade us? Like, basically, that's he's trying to Yeah, like, that's the vibe I'm getting. But just let, let him explain. No, you think that's why he takes so long just to even reply to our emails? He sent the old seller, the old guy that had the house. He's trying to come back. That's what he's trying to tell me. So this is absolutely ridiculous. The fact that he called me to tell me this news, I don't really understand what's going on. I don't know if he's trying to like persuade me not to get the house. He's trying to tell me that the old buyer is trying to come back and just finish the house. I don't really understand what's going on. Yeah, I feel like we're just like super pissed because yeah. we've been waiting for this house to be ours. And I feel like they've been ignoring us and now it kind of makes sense to why maybe they were just trying to like push the time. Yeah, like prolong the process and trying to push this new guy in. Okay, he called you. How did he start the phone call? Like, what did he say? He's like, hey, how are you? How's your weekend? After that, he's like, hey, I gotta tell you something. So they don't want to do the lenders don't want to do anything with you because you're too much of a risk because of your credit. But then after he told me that, he's like, hey, I just want to encourage you guys to like keep an open mind. He's like, maybe Brian can like find you another property or get you another, maybe a piece of land that Bob can construct another house for you. Why I'm would like, he even mention that though? We're tr if we've been waiting on this specific house for like five months know, now. We're not going to find a property like that. We're no, not then that's it. the house we want. That's when we put down money we put to down secure like the house. For that. So now he's trying to like persuade us not to get it. So basically we put an escrow down for this house. We're under contract and out of nowhere, the old owner wants to come back in. And I just don't know why the lender is even like mentioning this to us considering how far along in the process we are. We've been waiting like five months for this like back and forth meeting. We've been meeting with interior designers. Yeah, We've been all doing that. everything I about for too. what? For you to tell us like, oh, the old buyer wants his house back? This is so disappointing because we already announced that we're getting this house. And on top of that, we've been like patiently waiting. At and, the apartment. And living in this apartment where it's not really comfortable mm -hmm. with three kids. Let's not let it affect us. We'll wait for Debbie to call us because she's a realtor. I feel like she knows all the knowledge and terms. So we're not gonna let this ruin our time. I think it's now time to do something fun and competitive, which I love, ping pong. All right, the purpose of ping pong is to let our frustrations out. So I'm frustrated with you because I find you obnoxious. What about you? Um, uh, same. Because Wait, you're, you're Lewis? Because you're lightweight. Yeah. And I'm frustrated with you. I'm frustrated with you because you're on your period. You really have to say that in front of everybody? Got him. You see what I mean? Like, you're obnoxious. Like, why do you gotta say that? That's why you're obnoxious. Why do you gotta say that? Out of all things you can say, right? Because you know anything you say, Richard would take that as ammo to insult me. And you have to pick that. Like something just TMI, like personal. I messed up. I ain't gonna lie. I messed up. I feel so bad now thinking about it because he didn't stop. He did not stop? He wouldn't stop. It's normal, bro. It's TMI. No, he's right though. This smells really bad. A foot? I don't know. I mean, like, bro, I'm not. Is, is it the beach? Because it's smells I'm not sure with you too because of the beach. I'm mad at you too because. You see what happens? Sit the fuck up, bro. Nah, that's ammo. That's ammo. I'm mad at you because you have poor communication. I'm mad at you because you think you're never wrong. I'm mad at Ma because she thinks she's never wrong. Bro, well, you're mad at you because I'm a period. I'm mad at you because you the whole time. You see, that's why you don't say shit because they start fucking saying shit. Alright, alright. If the next person to say that, it's please leave. I'm mad at you real talk because I wanted to go to really bad. It's really bad. And well, you are excited, sorry. Yeah, but then I was like, you go, really don't take one of me. you go to a Shrek convention. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, that's right. No, 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 no,
Wait, wait. Debbie's calling me. Yeah. Debbie's calling me. Debbie's calling me. You heard what he just said to me? Yeah, I heard. Bro, come on. <laughs> yo, yo, you're my bad. I want, I want. Hello? And our realtor is calling us, and she is the best. We've been working with her for years. She's the one that actually sold us our last house and sold it for us. Mm -hmm. So she's just like the best, and we know that she's gonna get to the bottom of what is going on. Hey, hey, Debbie. Hey, how, fine, how are you, man. Debbie? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I just wanted to talk to you about something that Sam called me about because he just called me and told me that the old buyer from the old house is getting in contact with Bob about maybe finishing the construction and. He's basically telling me the old seller. Yeah, sorry, the old seller. And he was, I don't know he what was he's saying trying. like you guys should start pursuing other houses. Yeah, he's like, you guys should keep an open mind. Maybe Brian can get you a list of properties that Bob can still work on. Maybe like yeah, but that's ridiculous because that's not what we want to do. We've been waiting like five months since we've been looking at this house. Okay, let me call Brian and he mentioned something about the seller said that they might want to finish the house but he doesn't have any money to do it. Well then also is that, is, yeah we're under contract, I would say is are they even allowed to do that? I mean you could basically take him to court and if you want to go to court over him in breach of contract if he tries to cancel but it hasn't gone that far yet. At this point we're just a little scared and confused. We just don't want to lose this house. Alright. Alright, come on, take your frustration out with this. Yeah, I'm definitely with him. Yeah, I'm 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 with him. Yeah, i am with Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Come on, you gotta get in back. Get in back. Yeah, gotta get in back. She's in shock. One on one. Right, one on one. Did you return the money? Okay. Did you return the money though? How did you divorce them? Oh my oh. god. Joke. I feel like you shouldn't be mad, you know what I'm saying? I'm not mad. It's your like, brothers. I know, I'm not mad. I feel like just just think before you, you speak. Because I just feel like that's like personal. You can say anything else, but like, it's like... It's like she's mad because I know. you... Is it, is it, it is your brothers? brothers? Is, it a heavy, is it a heavy one or a light one? <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like she's mad because she's mad. Why are you going to say <laughs> shit like that, bro? Hey, I'm tipsy. Yo, I feel like tipsy. You see what I mean? Like, you just say... That's what the toilet looks like afterwards. Dead. <laughs> Yo, I'm fucking dead. Hey, show me tell us a whole roll paper, bro. <laughs> you see why you don't say shit like that? Babe, it's funny, babe. Oh, it's God. funny. It's don't funny. you want me to get like deep and in, in, intimate about your personal things? I will. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yo, it's not you're still on the couch or what? Probably, bro. Right here, probably sit right here. Okay. Did I say that? She can never be beat me ever. It's always been since we were little, so I was fucking I beat you in the rate of a marriage oh, divorce rate. Oh, marriage divorce rate. Hey! Oh, oh my gosh, bro. Hey! Oh. Remember what happens when you say things to you? Guess what's gonna happen? Keep saying it, it's gonna happen to you and Lewis. Damn. Damn. He's, he's pushing our, he's, 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 he's praying our downfall. He is praying our downfall. He's he's praying praying our downfall. No, no, bro, you have no room to talk, bro. Damn. Oh. What does that mean, Jeff? Wait, what can we? Why'd you walk away from it? Come back here. Yeah, if you can't just say something, walk away, bro. Yeah, bro. Boom. <laughs> he got heated, he got heated. Bro, why'd he say something and walk away? Uh. So I guess Richard and Jeff had gotten into an argument before coming here. I don't really know like the bits and pieces of exactly what went down, but I can feel the tension and I just hope that they can like squish it or just pretend nothing ever happened because I don't want them ruining this trip. Oh, that's fucking deep, bro. Damn. Damn, bro. Oh, I have to take all the jokes about the period. Yeah, you have to take all the jokes and then you can't walk away. Let's get it. Like, man, up, bro, man, up. I am, okay. This one's for? Oh, you thought. This is for a woman on their pants. We should do a lot. Put your tempo string and hang up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Bro. Let's go. I feel horrible now, bro. Bro, you look horrible. Like a party popper. I feel horrible. So it lasts 69. Come on, bro. Come on. Party popper. A portable walk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I'm gonna sit on the couch for like 10 days straight. Just fix it. It's, it's uncomfortable for you. Just fix it. Go to the bathroom quick. Just suck it in. <laughs>
Richard, Richard, please stop, bro. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Please stop. Please stop. No, bro, please, please, please. Right, 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 right. In. Go! Oh, that's nice. definitely tension between Richard and Jeff and I can tell that Jeff was trying to just like ease it and just try to like be buddy buddy with Richard again that he had gone up to Richard to try to take a picture of him I saw that. and Richard ignored him like like I don't want a picture and you know in game attitude so then like 10 minutes goes by and then Jeff goes up to him and starts cussing him out and shit went down oh, what do you want top squat let me ask you something why, why'd you go up to Richard and say that? Because, bro, since he's been... Is it been, because you asked him for a picture and he was like... No, since because he's been here, he's been treating me like I did something to him. I did nothing except try to look out for myself. I removed myself from somewhere I didn't think it was safe. To better myself, no, you don't, you don't want to hang out with I me. I see that you're trying and that he's just like giving you attitude like, the whole time. Why do I... I'm a fucking Leo. I have five ego issues, but not when I'm with my family. Why he, he can't do that? I'm trying to be a man. I didn't do nothing to him. Why well, I gotta feel like the enemy? But you think like you going up to him and saying like, like what the fuck bro? You think that's like the right way? That's letting him know he's not gonna step all over my kindness. Straight up because... Do you think that maybe you should pull, I, I pull them to I stay silent too much. I stay silent too much. I know, you think you should pull him to the side no, and say, no, like, hey, no. talk? Why do I have to do that when he won't pull me to the side? You wanna talk to Jeff? Yeah. You wanna talk to Jeff or not? No. Let's see like, talk to you. Yeah, not, not right now. You want to? No. Why are you talking? Huh? Yeah. Why are you talking? I can't hear you. When are you going to talk to him? Uh, after I enjoy myself in the pool. Are you going to be like drama, you know? Yeah, yeah. Shows you how immature people can be. That's 29 years old. I'm fucking 24. Can I get more? No, okay, please. I don't have to be here, Mom. Oh, 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 oh. I didn't do nothing to neither one of you both. I don't have to be here. But don't let it affect you, bro. You're good. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious, Mom. I'm too humble. I keep my mouth closed with both of you guys. This is what's wrong with everybody. Nobody wants to fucking focus on the problems. I'm trying to focus on the problems. Because everybody has a lot of pride. No, nobody has pride. How? When I'm here trying to talk to both of you guys. All right, all right, listen, bro, listen. Because the kids are listening, so Richard, just talk to your brother so we can enjoy the rest. Not right now. Not okay, right now. no, let's yeah, let's just chill, everybody, let's chill, and then we'll all talk. Yeah, I, I think... don't have time to sit around and wait for people to talk to me. I know, but let's just do it the right way, and let's just do it whenever. The right way is to talk to me now when the problem's here, instead of fucking forgetting about it and letting a problem come up, and then forgetting about that problem to deal with another problem, and then having two problems to deal with. Be a fucking man and hash that shit out, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's why I, this is why I walk away from you guys. You guys are too fucking much for me, bro. Seeing Jeff like this, I can definitely tell that it's really, really bothering him. And I'm just sensing that it's not just a situation with Richard, but he has a lot going on. Jeff, don't leave. I think you're just in trouble. No, no. When you're dealing with somebody that you know needs therapy, that has been through shit, you gotta be a little more understanding and let and your- And I do understand. Let yeah. your pride down and let your there's like- no, There's no morals, pride. Okay, you gotta let your beliefs, your morals, all this down just a little bit and be a little compassionate for someone who's gone through a lot of shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay, If you I have understand. two people in front of you, one just fucking lost their wife, saw a killing, saw a suicide, and one that's perfectly normal, you uh -huh. can act with this person like the way you are with everybody else. With this person, okay. you're gonna be a less tough, a less, okay. you know what I'm saying, more understanding because they went through shit. Okay. So I think you just need to be like that a little bit with Jeff. Okay, okay. Is he sober? I don't know. I don't know how he is. Okay. Uh, when I talk to people, it has to be when they're sober. When he's intoxicated. So I think if you just tell him, and, 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 I said, and I said to him Brandy, twice. And he's I said not going to talk when he's sober. He I talks said, when he's a little bit tipsy because I know and how he is. And he's quiet. That. I think it, anybody can agree with me. When I'm sober and he's in a different level mentally, there's no communication. Because he's going to take things to a point where he's like, what the fuck? When I tell you, I mean. Just remember and keep in the back of your head that he's gone through shit, so he's not going to have the same communication skills That's as you. That's fine. Or be as like mature as you. And, 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 and why, why, do you, more... why do you think why do you think I stay quiet? Why do you think I let him scream and I stay quiet? Because I'm trying to uh, avoid a problem or a bigger altercation. That's me being the bigger man. That's what I'm saying. We're gonna have a conversation. We're gonna talk. We are. Well, all I'm saying is that it's not the right time. Yeah, but no more. Yeah, but it doesn't matter, bro.
Yeah, 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 you have one more, bro. Come on. Bro, no, you're not even going to take what I do. Take one more shot. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. Nope. Steph, come on. I'll nope. take a smart I've been taking orange for everybody. Take it as like older sister advice. I don't want to do what I want to do before. Take it as older no. sister advice. Just don't drink anymore. That's take it as a younger brother advice. Stop trying to think I'm not dictating. I'm giving advice. I don't need to drink it. And I'm not going to take it advice. I'm sorry. So with Jeff's current state of mind, I don't think it's the smartest thing for him to drink and just mix that with how he's feeling right now. So me being a good sister, I'm just trying to, you know, keep that bottle away from him. Why can I pour it in for you? Babe, run away! Mom, Mom, Come on, I'll let you pour it. That's it. <laughs> I will let you pour it. That's it. No, 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 no. Put it in the pool. 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 You don't hit it down. You don't hit it down. Oh! Enfermo, enfermo! Enfermo, enfermo! Enfermo, enfermo! I thought it was hilarious. I thought Branty was being a good sister and making it a fun way to like keep the bottle away from him playing tag and keeping it lighthearted. So after a lot of drama and tension, we're gonna end out the day by going to the beach because we definitely need something relaxing. Penelope, first is left hand on blue. Okay. Where's your left hand? This one. That's your right hand. This one. Yes. Okay. Okay, ready? Welcome. Put your foot on yellow. Okay. Lovey, put your hand on green. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Doing a season, Completing eight a episodes, season. which is crazy. So before we continue, we want to say thank you so much for sticking with us, for being our day ones, our OGs. Like you guys literally stuck from the first episode all the way to the eighth because we saw like the support, the comments, the engagement, it was going nuts. Not even from the first episode, but from the very beginning of like our YouTube career. It just goes to show how much love you guys have for us and that love is reciprocal. It's right back at you. Right? I like that word, reciprocal. You like that? Yeah, I like that. We love you guys a lot for supporting yeah, us always. Guys. Honestly, it means the world to us because when we first decided to do this, like, it was it was very intimidating. Um, we're like, is this going to work? Is it not? A lot of people were telling us, even some articles when we first announced 
um, this reality show, they were like, okay, if the brand family is going to do this, like, they have to execute it correctly because there can be um, a loss of connection between us and you guys yes. if it's too, like, reality show-wise. So we wanted to make it still seem like kind of like a vlog, and I think we executed it pretty well because you guys have absolutely loved it. You guys have been um, demanding non-stop season, season two. two. And um, you guys have also been demanding for each episode to be like an hour long. So we've been getting nothing but positive feedback. And at the end of this, we really hope that you guys like, you know, took away what we wanted you to take away from it kind of. Like we did this with the purpose of like keeping it relatable, having you guys being able to relate to our problems because you know, at the end of the day, no family is perfect. We get a lot of messages on Instagram and just like every social media platform. But one certain type of message that always stuck out to us is that people would always thank us for being real yes. and never hiding, you Our, know, problems yeah. or hiding what's like real life. And I feel like that's what we've always done since day one. And we've always been so open with you guys. Like when mm -hmm. me and Brandy had a problem or our family members, between our family members, we always put it on YouTube through vlogs. Yeah. But we wanted to show you like a behind the scenes look like this. Just so you guys can like relate, I'm sure a million of you guys out there watching mm -hmm. go through some similar problems that we go through. We knew that we never wanted to be like a cookie cutter type family channel. We always wanted to show you guys like the reality of it. Just because I, we can't force ourselves to just show rainbows and butterflies every single Video. vlog. It's just like unrealistic, you know? So we knew since day one we wanted to be different. And I think also another thing is something that affects a lot of people, even us is just watching other people and then being like, why can't my life be like that? Why can't our marriage be like that? Why can't I have this? And that affects everybody. Like, honestly, it really does. Social media. Whether like you a... want to admit it or not. And I just, I don't ever, 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 we don't ever want anybody to feel like that watching our videos. No. So that's why we just want to be completely different. And I hope that you guys got to see that and you enjoyed it and you enjoyed the reality show. And I can't believe like we're, we're done. Um, this is the very last episode. We just wanted to come on here and end it with us talking to you guys and showing you how much we appreciate you guys and love you guys. And your support is means the world means to us. the world because we would not be well, we're where at, we're at here sitting here without our... you guys like clicking on a video, commenting, um, following us on the show, social media platform. Like those little things that you do go such a long way, and we appreciate it. We love it, and we just wanted to come on here to say a huge thank you. Thank you guys so much for sticking with us for eight episodes. Season one is over. We really appreciate you guys. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, Ram Fam. Bye. Lune, yo me llamo tu sana, la gente me dice como es El rey de la selva Oye, ine perfecto, gracias a sus raíces Sabe como es El rey de la selva Cuando con mi león, alcanzando los hierbos Como es El rey de la selva Yo soy de fiesta de leones a cerdo Como es El rey de la selva Jalo Tarzán